Hello there, you guys. Welcome on in. I hope you're all having an absolutely fantastic Tuesday morning. You definitely... <clears throat> oh god, wait. Bad start, bad start. Give me a second. I'll, I'll restart. Here, give me a second. Okay. <clears throat> Once again, from the top, good morning, everyone. Welcome on in. I hope you're all having a good Tuesday. You didn't see me checking the date. I definitely didn't look up in the top right-hand corner. Um... Oh, come on in. What that? This is a strawberry. Uh, there's strawberry stuck to the top. Strawberry Akai drink of some sort. It's really good. I like it. Um, and it's massive. <laughs> so I got a little bit of caffeine going on this morning. Welcome on in, everyone. I hope you're all having a good day. I like how Sentry, you were like, oh, I hope Crystal's throat's doing all right. And then I come on and I just choke. <laughs> just come off of Horizon Zero Dawn slightly before stream. You can't prove it again. It's only Tuesday, I feel uncomfy. It feels later on. Starbucks? Starbucks indeed, yeah. Um, it is my, uh, my mom's birthday. And I was like, Mom, what do you want for breakfast? And she's like, can I get the apple drink from Starbucks? She doesn't order from Starbucks herself. But she likes the caramel apple spice hot drink. Um, so I got her that and a breakfast sandwich. And I got me my strawberry drink. And Kiara's gonna be all over it. <laughs> that drink got me jelly. <laughs> Did someone say it's Thursday? I think that it's a Thursday. <laughs> um, but yeah, welcome on in. And thank you! Yeah, no, I'll, I'll let you- I'll let her know later. Is it your mom's birthday as well? Welcome on in. My hair is doing some, like, puffy business, so... Do you see me messing with a lot? Just... I did, I told her- I told her specifically, I'm like, the mods say happy birthday, and she's like, oh, thank you! <laughs> Just like, in general. I love a strawberry drink right now. That's really good. It's really good. Um, but yeah, good morning everyone, welcome on in. This is my first COVID shot, ooh, exciting, I hope it goes well, I hope that, you know, everything, you feel good after. <laughs> this got buried, but you look so dang cozy right now, thank you, you know what, I'm feeling cozy. I feel like, like, recently, the stream games we've been playing are just cozy games, and I'm kind of here for that. Um, I've been talking recently about doing, uh late night cozy streams that are like not scheduled or probably not even on camera or anything like that but like I kind of feel like I'm slightly already doing those <laughs> so we'll see there's like a hair that keeps going down right in front of my face um but yeah I gave my mom her uh not Fitbit Fitbit this morning um and she's she's interested in it I've caught her a couple times she keeps like clicking through it and like checking on her heart rate and on her her calories and her steps and stuff um, so that's a really good sign. <laughs> um, also, the fact that I can message her or like on her phone, she doesn't text, uh, but I could text her and it'll tell her that I've done that. Uh, or I could Facebook message her. Um, it's really great and she'll get the notification right on her wrist. So um, it was really funny watching her. I'm like, mom, you, like, get up, walk over here, then walk back to your chair and see if it actually counted your steps. And she was so surprised when it did. <laughs> uh, so hopefully it, it works well. It, um, anyone in here who has a Fitbit or a smartwatch, you might know. Um, I think it was Anne had the same issue I did when she got hers. Are you just resting your chin on that? Yes, okay. <laughs> um, this wrist uh, band I have right now is a metal one, and it's, it's, it's a, a magnet, so I can like strap it on however I want. Um, but it originally came with like this this rubbery plastic one, and um, I had a I had some sort of like reaction to it almost. Um, and this this one I got my mom came with the the same sort of sort of band, so I'm hoping it doesn't bother her too much. Like my Apple Watch more for notifications and stuff than the health features. Yeah. <laughs> I should I have one of those cozy Udi? Yeah, everyone has one of those these days, don't they? I've seen those. They're really expensive and there's so many cute pink ones and I don't know if I should pick one. No, I've seen those. I think I saw Snacks Breaks and I think Glamour as well. I think they both uh, got partnerships with Udi, which is kind of cool. Um, I've seen a lot, a lot of streamers kind of repping it recently. Cat. <laughs> uh, I still have the rubber band on mine. Thankfully my skin seems chilled. That's really good. That's really good. For me, it only happened when I got really warm, like if I was going out for a walk in the summer sort of thing. Um, other than that, I was usually fine with it. Or like, if it got wet, it would bother the heck out of me. Keekster, hello, how's it going? Get one. <laughs> Good style, hello. Oh my god, hair, please. Please. Anyway, um... 
Let's go ahead and check our Katrina notification thingy majig for today, shall we? Um, also, do you guys want to see something? Actually, can you actually see this? Oh yeah, you can see that. There's nothing on here important, right? Yeah. So, oh, if it wants to focus, it wants to focus on my face, which is fair, I guess. So pretty much those lines right there, that squiggly multicolored line, um, was my sleep last night. And, um, Kiara, could you stop? <laughs> Uh, those red dips right around 3 a.m. there, that was Ollie having a party and waking me up repeatedly. <laughs> so, that was a thing I was looking at and laughing at earlier today. Uh, where's the Nintendo Online app? I love wearing this to bed because it will actually tell me when Ollie's been, been acting up and I, I can pinpoint exactly when he's thrown a little party. Imitating your sleep pattern. <laughs> looks erratic like me. Yeah, no, I, uh, I'm constantly in a more light sleep, so I, I roll over and wake up and stuff a lot. Anyway, Nook Point, shall we? I always want to call him Nook Miles. Alrighty. We got 10 points. We're up to 150 points as of today. Words of wisdom. Listen to advice, but also your instincts. This will make decisions much harder. As if I needed that. I already am bad at decision making. <laughs> Jeez. Ugh. Don't have these anymore because I don't sleep enough all mood. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was calling me out. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a horrible decision maker. I'm constantly just like second guessing myself. And then I'll like go up to the mods and I'll be like, what do you guys like? <laughs> About the simplest things. It's like, obviously yes, but I... I don't know. <laughs> um... Don't forget to invite yourself to your own party. This one was for Ollie, I think. <laughs> he was like, he was bouncing around. He was bouncing off me. He was just like making these funny little chirpy sounds. I don't know exactly what he was doing. Try tying your shoelaces differently for that new shoe feel. Okay. <laughs> okay, low key. Can we, can we have a heart to heart real quick chat about tying our shoelaces? Who in here ties your shoelaces like one time and then you just slip out of the shoe without untying it and then slip back into the shoe without tying it? Like, you know what I mean? Who, who does that? Because I do that. <laughs> I do that so much. I ruin my shoes that way. I know I do, but that can't have sounded good. That was like cat licking ASMR. Don't do that. Does only ever wearing sandals cat? You know what? That's fair. Are you trying to eat the strap on this? Please don't. <laughs> Just towards the back on them. It does. It does. Usually my sho like I go through shoes like no tomorrow. Um, so usually they don't last that long anyway. But I also buy cheap shoes because I don't really care, and they're gonna be on my feet anyway. I can't afford to do that. <laughs> Slip in and out of trainers like that and retie them every now and then. Yeah, I'll only retie them if like they get loose. For the most part, I don't. <laughs> Alyssa, how's, how's it going? Could be zero Celsius outside and I'll still wear sandals. Silver Palm, have you thought about a career as a post person? Because here, the people who deliver the mail and stuff, I'll see them outside in like knee deep snow running around in like their little shorts, their little short like summer uniform. Like it's like it's nothing. And it's crazy. <laughs> it's you like you know you you might you might have the uh, the body for that. <laughs> Doing that for years and my shoes have been fine. I don't know what you're all are on about. <laughs> Why is it destroyed shoes? I don't think I've had a problem. So it can like the back art. Uh, I don't know if if it's called an arch, but like the back of the shoe, uh, the part that your heel goes against, it can get like smushed pretty much. I actually went to apply for a post job the other day, but they're full up. Oh, <laughs> oh goodness, post person can I ain't afraid no snow. Pretty much, pretty much accurate. I have tennis shoes with regular laces, and I have a pair of short boots that just zip up on the side, cover both my comfy and lazy vases. I'm here for that. My feet are between two shoe sizes, so I always go for the larger size and tie my shoes a little further front. I'll use the shoe slipper thingy. Yeah, no, we we. We have those as well. Did you? You got cat hair all over my drink. <laughs> oh, man, I haven't taken an allergy med today either. Um, was there anything else I wanted to tell you guys? I always do this every morning. I don't think there was. I don't think there was. Um, 
If you- ooh, actually, wait, yes. Anyone in here who plays Spiritfarer, I think the new update is out. That you love- Okay, that's a given though, Rosie. <laughs> um... Oh, also, if anyone has any good turnip prices in Animal Crossing, I'd be eternally grateful. Because <laughs> I keep forgetting to check my prices. <laughs> We were actually hacking in Stardew. I mean, we are we are having some pretty good luck. <laughs> does does did my mods count as hacking? <laughs> they probably do, right? I mean, it's not me hacking it per se, but one pair of shoes with Becca laces and three of shoes that have fake laces and slip on. I don't think I've ever had like a fake. There's like a hair back here sticking out. Sorry. I don't think I've ever had any shoes with fake laces before. <laughs> right. Um, I'm checking for you yesterday and I forgot. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> um, check the month and date again. For to oh, I mean, yeah, that's my mom's birthday also. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about that, but we're just, you know. Later on today, I assume people are going to be having some fun. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, Skechers. We got three times? What on earth, Mendelin? Um, I think I've only gotten two times the one time. <laughs> uh, so Spirit Fair has the update today, I think, um, if anyone in here plays. And uh, I think that was it, other than the fact that our lockdown is getting worse here. <laughs> and that, like, businesses that... Um, have had more than five COVID cases within the last 14 days have to shut down. Um, so, big warehouses, like ones that Mike works at, for example, may or may not be shutting down. So, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's kind of a crazy time here. I told my friend who does partake in recreational uses of occasionally med medicinal varieties to blaze it. She called me old. <laughs> Oh, I love that. I love that. Um, I think that was everything, though. So, Stardew, you guys, we got into winter. We were already in winter from yesterday. Um, we've been working on making our farm look pretty. I ran out of wood, so that was a thing. Um, we got down to floor 120 of the mines during the key challenge, which was really cool. Um, I love doing that. And... What else did we do? We fished again. <laughs> we did a, we did a lot of mining yesterday. I feel like so. A package today, and to my surprise, it was the Trials of Mana remake that I ordered about four days ago. Oh, you didn't expect it to arrive so quickly. That's really awesome. I hope you enjoy it. Surprise video games are best video games. Hey Kim, how's it going today? How are you doing? I hope that your uh, your treasure hunt was good yesterday. I I, I continued lurking, um, but I, I don't think I saw if you actually got the treasure or not. <laughs> Um, that was yesterday. I'm pretty sure that was yesterday, right? Second guessing myself hardcore with that one. 90% sure that was yesterday. What's up with 22? He had interviews for a job in Ottawa and the company reported the interview. Oh, like postponed it. But until when? You know, the fact that your name has the human in it really makes me question if you're human or not. <laughs> oh, goodness me. No, I, I can attest. I'm, I'm like... 95% sure Kim is actually human. We did get the treasure, yes! <laughs> I really enjoy treasure hunting in Minecraft. It was one of my favorite things. But, like, you need the equipment to do it. You need, like, the water breathing, uh, enchantments and potions and whatever whatever else you can get your hands on to make it easier. Because otherwise it's tedious, so... <laughs> um, should we go ahead and get started here, you guys? Go ahead and get started, see? How things are going in our Stardew save. So we're kind of in like this weird point in the game in my mind where like we finished the main story. We're married, we have two kids, you know, farm's doing great. Um, we've completed grandpa's thing, uh, completed the island. <laughs> so we're kind of in this weird place right now. Um, but I really want to try to 100% the save file, so that's kind of what we're aiming for. Uh, sorry I'm a little late. I was all over my house to take care of my dog and hopefully the cable people will come over and fix our internet. No worries, Brandon. No worries. I'm sorry you're still dealing with that. Um, and it's okay because I was late today too. I was helping my mom set up her watch. 
Are we human or are we- oh my god, random, you just gave me flashbacks to high school. <laughs> Finally got my horse and my save file. And almost done with the community center, nice. So our, our uh, crystallarium area is done. We still look alive, Mr. Soon, so much for my comfort streamer. Oh my god, do you know how much that means to me to hear that? That's such a nice thing to say. <laughs> Pop in and tell you, it's found out yesterday. <gasps> that you're gonna be a mom? That is so exciting, oh my god. My goodness, congratulations! It's like, exciting and I'm, I'm assuming maybe a little bit, little bit nerve-wracking. <laughs> That's really cool though. Congratulations. Okay, so we got our diamonds. I forgot that I paved this. I was a little bit confused when I came out here. Are we dense? <laughs> I remember talking about it during a high school English course, but I can't remember why. I just remember that line. And like, that's about it. Cables are hanging down there. I'm supposed to do that, and that's how my dad accidentally cut them. Yeah. Which, in and of itself, is dangerous and scary for sure. I'm glad that he's alright. He just stuck on I have have maintenance come over and fix it. Oh, because it's too hot? Uh-oh. That's not so fun. Hopefully they can come over quickly and get, like, you know, safely. Uh, I heard some some stories from people in here who've had people over to do work around the house for whatever reason, and they come in, like, not wearing masks and stuff. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not, not right now. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll put these in. Hey, Wiccan. Uh, hope everyone's doing great. I haven't really been able to enjoy one of your streams lately, but I want to say that you're awesome. One of my favorite streamers. Oh my god. Coming in here with the kind- oh, I, I laughed. I got so flustered. Coming in here with the kind words. I appreciate whenever you're able to stop by, honestly. There we go. Hey, Tobians. Okay, oh no, that's entirely the wrong thing. Let's make Crystal cry. Let's not, let's not, because Crystal's not wearing uh, the proper makeup for that situation. Where's ass? Oh, but you're both fully vaccinated. That's good. That's good. Let's see how much we can embarrass her. <laughs> oh! Man, I, I do a good enough job of embarrassing myself, I think, on a daily basis. <laughs> okay. So... We need more wood. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. We need more wood. We need uh, more streetlights. We need more kegs. We need more... Um, whatever these are called. Preserve jars. Cause me to buy a giant bag of warheads. See, if I could... And like, you know, if it wasn't COVID, I would straight up just send you the bag I have because I don't want to eat it all. <laughs> I hope you enjoy those, though. I'm thinking of buying another cow and another piggy. So if you guys want to think up names ahead of time. Um, I want another white cow because we have two brown ones. And I want another piggy because piggies. Got any tips for making gold? It depends on where you are in game. If you're really early, I'd say you do some fishing if you don't mind the fishing mini game. I know some people don't like it. Um, if you're a bit later on in game, uh, invest whatever money you have into into crops. So like, um, whatever is the best for the season. So cranberries for fall, blueberries for summer, strawberries or potatoes for spring. Um, and then even better yet, get some artisan stuff going. So like, you know, if you have animals, put their products into the makers. Uh, if you have fruit and stuff, you can put it to make wine um, and sell off those. It's a bit of a longer process because it takes time to process them, but it's pretty good. 175, oh my goodness. Also, I already rock with the two month race. I've been following you on YouTube for a while and I'm so happy I can be subbed. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. I. My goodness. <laughs> Whenever someone's like, yeah, I came over from YouTube, I'm like, oh my god, you literally jump platforms to come and hang out. How cool is that? So thank you. Okay. 
Okay, so our farm is officially good to go. We are taken care of. Um, yeah, we're just gonna chop trees today. I think it's honestly, we're gonna go to the island and that's what we're gonna do. And hope that those have grown back from last time. is gone it is it is actually we we decided just to uh to not have it um and whenever whenever i see the mods being awesome which is all the time but like you know extra awesome i just toss up some mod love <laughs> that's not the right thing can't wait to buy stardew when i get home from work tonight or buy sorry play stardew um i really hope that you enjoy it Stardew is just... It's like a calming game for me. It's a cozy game. Alright, cool. Let's go chop some trees, you guys. And I probably should also start planting some in the desert, so maybe I can do that as well. We have plenty of pine cones, so we're gonna take those. I know I have trees around my farm, but I kind of want to keep those for, like, decoration. <laughs> I don't know if you guys do that, too. I don't know if you'd like to have lots of greenery around your farms, but... There we go. I'm playing on PC. I'm playing on PC. I do have it on Switch as well, though. Ooh, Brandon, that sounds really good. I hope you enjoy those. So they're not fully grown. <clears throat> Give me a second. Okay. <laughs> Man, my throat's just like, no, no, not today. Um, sorry. Hope you're doing good. Just got my Pulte Guys plushie. I'm glad that it finally came in. Very nice. Shadow Warrior, hello. How's it going? Love the plotfish mask. Thank you. We got it back yesterday. We also have another one for our second, our second child. Um, so I hope that, uh, that he takes on the tradition of the blobfish mask. <laughs> oh, you want to speak? You know, I don't know what that emote is, but it reminds me of a bug snack, and I'm okay with that. Is it a frog, baby? I like it. <laughs> Penny must wake up and freak out. Oh yeah, for sure. Didn't I have- oh right, I want to do this. Can anyone tell me where I can catch these? Does anyone know off the top of their heads? Maybe fall asleep first, me doing schoolwork, the relaxing music with the calm rain. Oh, maybe a mix of both. <laughs> can run on a Mac. I think it can. I hope it can, I think. Yeah, just up to the, oh my god, their, their emotes are really cute. <laughs> so I think I've heard the stingray can be caught um, near the pirate cove area. You can catch the first two anywhere on the island. All right, thank you. So let's just go back over here then. Because like I'm 90% sure it is in this area. It might not be, but I'm like, I'm pretty sure. So if I can catch them anywhere... Can we play bug snacks again? I miss it. It was so good, wasn't it? Uh, when Mike was here, I was watching him play through it. He didn't get to the end, but I was really hopeful that he would enjoy it. And he did seem to be liking it. Oh, hi. Would you give me another... Pearl? I think there were certain times I had to step on those. In the pirate cove, inside the cave. Oh, it's actually in the cave. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. 
I haven't really done these quests yet, to be honest, the ones for the island specifically, so... Give Pearl thanks. <laughs> Kara, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you looking for the treats? She's like, where did you move them to? <laughs> okay, no. I know that the pirates have a party in here every now and then. Can you imagine trying to fish in here when they're having their party? Probably can thank you. <laughs> Wait a minute, this might be something. Oh, uh, and we caught, I think that's the stingray. There we go, so there's one. We need five. Fish directly on the other side of this water, you can... If you fish directly on the other side of this water, Give me a second, wait a minute. You mean like over here? I want to catch a surprise. Like right down here? I want to know what this is all about. I know that there's a lot of stuff you can fish up now with the update, and I've seen some of it. I haven't seen all of it. It is here? Okay, cool. Thank you. I am very intrigued. Is it chocolate? <laughs> it better be chocolate. I want, like, chocolate coins. <gasps> oh man, actually, I do want chocolate coins. Okay, there's another stingray. That's fine. That's fine. I, I like catching those, too. Took you a couple tries. Alright, no worries. That's all good. Chocolate just comes out of your screen. <laughs> I'd be concerned. Surprise, it's a stingray. <laughs> You want lint chocolate? I want a Cadbury mini egg. Not like a, I want like a pack of them, not just a singular one. But my teeth don't really like sweet stuff anymore. Kiara, Kiara, listen, all right? You can't just come up here when I'm fishing. <laughs> game was I playing? I think I was playing um I was playing Cozy Grove the other night and hey Kurt how's it going and uh Ollie was really fascinated with the fishing in that game he was watching my I uh I was playing on the big screen uh he was watching it like a hawk it was really cute phaser chocolate I don't know if I know of that one I don't know if I know of that one uh, I got a chest full of stone. Heck yeah. Surprises. Surprise rocks. <laughs> Hydrate, give me just a second here. Oh god, there's hair in front of my face. It's gonna bother me. Holes. <laughs> oh, I need to like go up and go away. There we go. Uh, hydrate. I have actual water with me, so I'll have some of that here. Somebody at my job at the bar and grill pranked me a sugar-free chocolate tastes like fun. <laughs> okay, wait. First off, I'm sorry. Second off, sugar-free chocolate? Wait. Would it, even, would it even be called chocolate anymore? Did it have any sort of sweetener in it? Or was it like just straight up just grossness? Because <laughs> it sounds pretty bad. Finnish uh, candy company. I know it's very easy to get here in Sweden, but not sure beyond that. Maybe that's why I haven't heard of it. Cocoa isn't sweet at all. No, it's not. All right, listen, we'll see you later. Grand chocolate chips that I like, they're sugar free. I think it's stevia, yeah. Sugar free chocolate's an atrocity. Now you're collecting literal trash. <laughs> I am. Oh, it's the story of my life. They use sugar free chocolate for grinding up and mixing with other food. 
they were serving that week. Oh, gross. It's me, hello, how's it going? Now, I uh, I don't know about you guys, but I, I know when I was younger, my mom's like, oh yeah, when you're older, like, you know, you'll develop a taste for like dark chocolate. No, no, I, I don't, I, you know, milk chocolate all the way. Dark chocolate's just, ugh. <laughs> Can't get behind it. I'll learn to like it. See, I know it's healthier, and like, you know, last year I tried to buy some. Ooh, I got the, I got the surprise. What is it? Oh, I got a statue of our froggy friend. Thank you for letting me know about this. <laughs> there we go. Hey, Andrew. Dark chocolate's so good. I have too much sugar. There's some sugar free chocolate at my grocery store that tastes fine. Like, I'm trying to like... I'm trying to imagine it, you know what I mean? I'm just imagining like super dark chocolate, I think. But it, it wouldn't necessarily be dark, just because it's sugar free doesn't mean it doesn't have like milk and stuff in it, right? I prefer dark chocolate. It's because I'm not big on sweets. That's totally fair, that's totally fair. See, here's the thing. When we all get together one day, you guys can have all of the dark chocolate and... What else don't I like? Pineapple and pizza and... Um... Olives. I don't like olives. <laughs> More than welcome to all that stuff. Never some of those who prefer white bread over wheat bread. White bread is so flavorless. Yeah, I'm- as I got older I like both. When I was younger I didn't. When I was little I thought I was healthy when I ate white chocolate instead of dark. Oh. <laughs> don't like olives how? Oh no, I just- I can't. I like- I tried it as a kid and absolutely hated it, and then a couple years ago I'm like, well, you know what? Taste buds change. I'll try it again. No, oh, I can't do it. Mike is the same. He doesn't like them either. I've, I've definitely met people who can't eat them like candy, though. And I don't know if they're- I don't know, like, if they're healthy or not for you, if it's, like, a moderation thing, but... Either way. You're more than welcome to it. Black all is only. Olives are gross. I ate much chocolate and candy and then I went to the dentist and said I have 11 cavities. Yeah, I uh, I had some cavities dealt with a couple years ago and I'm hoping I don't have any more, but I know I probably do. It never stops. Ugh. <laughs> I, like, I really wish I could enjoy stuff like that. Send me all your olives. <laughs> I'm not catching any more of this fish here. I'm missing one. <laughs> Happy with my apple juice. <laughs> oh, I nearly lost that one. like fishing over here because I can't see where the top of the bar is. Tend like all it just depends on my mood if I want to eat them, yeah. Oh I I olives I can't handle. Um Brussels sprouts is another thing. Like I I've tried them as a kid, didn't like them, tried them again as an adult because I'm like, you know what? Again, taste buds change. And it just no. I still I still don't like them. My big bags of chocolate and face on them while watching movies late at night on my computer. Yeah, I've been guilty of that. <laughs> really have to be prepared well. Yeah, my mom loves them. Like, she'll, she'll eat them no problem, but I just can't. I have a feeling this fish might not be available at night. Because they're just, they're straight up not spawning now. Come on, prove me wrong, game. Prove me wrong. Let's darn it. We'll come back. See, everything there sounds good, Silver Mom. That all does sound good. I was telling Chad about how apple juice can be a natural hunger suppressant or something like that. Yeah! Yeah, he knows he knows about that. Apple juice and uh coffee. <laughs> can see. Can uh, both do that.
Hey, Megan, how's it going? I can never do veggies like corn, carrots, green beans, broccoli, mainly because the smell of them being cooked. That's very interesting. I don't really, I don't get bothered by the smell of them. Um, but I definitely know a lot of people who, uh, who do. And, and I only learned about, uh, peanut butter very recently. It's something that a lot of people can't, they don't like the smell of. The taste, smell of raw tomatoes. I can eat anything made from them. Ketchup, pasta sauce, even tomato soup. Interesting. But raw tomato? Get it. <laughs> hey, Serena. Huge collection of DVDs and what's up? Like three movies on one of the TVs in College Lounge nearly every night. That sounds really chill, though. You love the smell of your peanut butter? Same here. I, I do. I like peanut butter in general, but I, I've met a lot of people just through streaming who don't at all. And that is, that is so foreign to me. I've never heard of that. Everyone who I know, who I grew up with, loves peanut butter. Or at least likes it. <laughs> Same with asparagus. I hated them. Turned out my mom wasn't cooking them well. It didn't taste good at all. I think she just boiled them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I guess it does really depend on how you cook stuff. Do I need to keep these? I think I might need to keep them. Uh, give me a second. Just, just in case. I'm so allergic to peanuts and they can still smell, or still like the smell of peanut butter. It's the only veggie tortilla lights. Never like celery. Yes, don't like celery either. Texture is a, a big thing for me. It always has been and that's something I can't handle. I like gas and cigarettes makes me feel nostalgic for some reason. I know a lot of people who like the smell of, like, um, going to a, uh, a gas station. I want to put this up by our little froggy friend, but I don't really have room up there, so I'll find a space maybe tomorrow. Unless it has peanut butter on it. it smells cigarettes reminds you of Disney. That's interesting. It reminds me of college. <laughs> but I, I was talking to a smoker back then who, um... I'm kind of glad I didn't end up dating <laughs> but uh yeah I definitely hung around the smokers areas a lot for that reason even though I've never touched a cigarette I just don't like them can't stand it <gasps> you made me hash browns heck yeah anything with potatoes just like it's a good food a neighborhood full of smokers. Smell smoke. Even campfire. Campfire is also like that smell is nostalgic for me. Ooh, okay, so the Feast of the Winter Star. Our person is Kent. Oh, a lot of people in here don't like Kent. <laughs> oh dear, okay. Well we have roasted hazelnuts for him. Uh Michelle with a year of support. My goodness. Very excited to have this badge and thank you for entertaining me this past year. Thank you so much for sticking around. I appreciate that. Oh my god, Silver Pump, that emote. <laughs> you know what else? It reminds me of, like, Banjo Kazooie Conquers Bad Fur Day, like those characters. Um, or those NPCs. That's exactly what that emote reminds me of. I think it's, like, the googly eye look about it. <laughs> yeah, Brandon. Okay, I need a good spot to put our froggy friends. Maybe I'll put you guys right here. You'll just be big froggy and small froggy. And there's uncomfortable brown dogs because most of the dogs in the neighborhood were me and my instincts are see a dog run away. Oh, yeah. Like, that's fair. I, I, most people who I've met IRL have been fine with dogs, but I have met a couple who've had 
uh, fear, usually because they had a bad experience with dogs. So that's understandable. How's my basement winding? I think yesterday we checked, we had about like 27-ish days left. <laughs> As a pig snorts. Uh, which isn't too bad. Hey, Persona. That's fun. I hope things are going well. Missed the last harvest, I guess. Yeah, we did harvest it. It sold for quite a bit. I think we ended up selling that at the end of uh, fall, like we did everything else. No, Sunshine. No, Grill. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Isn't that a restaurant, Sunshine Grill? Am I thinking of something different? I might be. Possibly get lunch with me when I asked her on the bus. Oh, that's really nice. I guess we'll see how things go there. Like, my dog is nice, don't be scared. I'm like, I know it's nice, but that doesn't change the fact that I have childhood. It's ex exactly right. I'm never gonna tell someone, like, you know, just don't be scared. Like, that's not how that works. <laughs> um, I didn't mean to go here. Uh, I mean, I did, but like, I wanted to plant some trees first. Um, actually, you know what? I guess trees can wait. Yeah, no, they can wait. Maybe it's a good thing I came here. Doggos, but I'm not gonna run up to one and pet them. I'll leave them to be if they're barking or don't want to be messed with. Yeah, no, I think having a healthy respect for all animals is good. A dog can do some serious damage if they wanted to. And while well, most don't, some could. So. <laughs> if any of you say you don't like cats, dogs, since or pet here, like even if you don't have past experience, people are allowed to not like things. Exactly, exactly. <gasps> oh, there's jellyfish in here. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna fish with the jellyfish. Plan things by now. I fight instincts as well. I'd rather stay away from the dog than have it come near me and have a fight instinct. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I get that completely. another one. Oh, I got another one. <laughs> Is that meant to happen? Or because I got another froggy statue. <laughs> We're gonna have a froggy shrine, Loki. Confirm crystals hacking. <laughs> Oh yes, do I look like someone who knows how to hack anything random? <laughs> or... Silver Palm. I don't know why I thought that was random. I think I saw your name and then the bot, and I'm like, oh yeah, that must have been random. <laughs> was not random. My apologies. Okay, I'm like half convinced these things don't exist. I'm random now, I get a sword. <laughs> Aren't we all deep down slightly random? He's gonna really enjoy me saying that. Stop, 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 stop. I've nearly lost this fish so many times. And I have a treasure chest on it, so I really don't want to lose it. There we go. And there's the last one we needed. And not worth it, but we got the bait. Something random would say, yep. <laughs> and again to a Zoom meeting, no worries. I hope it goes well. Okay, and you can still, you guys said the other ones can be caught like pretty much anywhere, so. I like this place when it has all the pirates in it. I'm not gonna lie, that was like probably one of my favorite events ever in Stardew. <laughs> 
Just the music and playing darts and learning how to play darts with you guys. I do like fishing in Horizon Zero Dawn. Can I fish up like robot fish? Because I know things in that game are like slightly mechanical. If there's anything mechanical in the water, I will not be happy. Is there anything that can attack you in the water? Actually, that's a better question. Is there underwater fighting? Should I be concerned? in your tone of voice is a mood. <laughs> uh, there's no underwater fighting, however, there are snap ma crocodile machines and they like water- no, 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 no. I need to see pictures though, to, just to be sure. It's, like a, it's a morbid curiosity thing for me. Has anyone in here ever been to Universal Studios? I think Florida. Has anyone in here ever been there? Maybe years ago. <laughs> Sentry, I've never played any of the near games, but I definitely am aware of them. I'm, in I'm intrigued. Many years ago. Oh, there's one of the fish we needed. Haven't been to any of them. So the reason why I'm asking, this is like the peak of my, of my phobia. Uh, which I believe is pronounced sub me sub mechanic it's sub mech something phobia, <laughs> uh, which is the fear of man-made things underwater, um, in particular uh, animatronics or electronic things. It just freaks me out, even in video games. Um, so that thing in that last Sonic game, or that Sonic game, I guess in general we played, was not my cup of tea. <laughs> that giant snake. Uh, but Universal Studios Florida, uh, I think it was, they had a Jaws ride. It's gone now, and I think they made way for the Harry Potter land that they made uh, a couple years back. Uh, let me see here. Uh, ooh, random, wait a minute, I want to see that. The, the scary drowning music. I don't think I heard it, but I know which one you're talking about. And I don't like it. Okay, I hate that random. I hate that. I hate everything to do with that. That's not all right. <laughs> Thank you for that follow. Um, but yeah, at this Universal Studios, they had a Jaws ride, obviously based off the movies. If you've ever seen videos of that ride, um, like that is my phobia in a nutshell. It, essentially, you're... I need to start paying attention to the screen when I'm fishing. Um, it, uh, you're in a, like, a, a, in a boat, um, and going around this area, and you'll just see, like, the fin come up and stuff like that, but then, essentially how they're doing it is there's these animatronic sharks underwater that are on, like, this system where they'll, like, lunge up at the boat. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> I can't handle that. It scares me so much, but I love watching videos of it because it's like a morbid curiosity sort of thing. But like if I was ever actually there, I think the ride's gone fully now. I would probably just cry. <laughs> One of the things I loved about Sonic CD, they don't play the scary drowning music in that. Scared of water levels to the purple fish in the new... in the new Mario. Purple fish? Let me think if I, if I know. Where's this again? I think it's the Florida Park. Universal Studios? I feel like I've been on it before. You can hear the uneasiness. Um, maybe uh, if anyone in here has been to Disney parks. Um, I don't know if it's Animal Kingdom or not. There's one Disney park that has... See, if, if Eric was in here, he'd know exactly what I'm on about. Um, there's a Jungle Cruise ride. And essentially on that, again, you're in a boat. Um, and you're being steered around these rivers, and there's animatronics. Um, and there's some of them in the water, like hippos and elephants and such. And there's videos, I think from like last January or February, maybe. Last year. So before the pandemic really kicked off. It's 
jungle cruise in Magic Kingdom. Thank you. Uh, where one of the boats sunk. And the water's not deep, but the idea of being in the water even relatively close to an animatronic scares me. <laughs> so I saw this video and you can see the boat filling up with water and people like having to like, you know, stand up on the seats and whatever. Oh no. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't handle that. It was interesting to watch though, they had to like bring in another boat to come and rescue them. Um, and I think they went down in a relatively shallow area, but like, there's other areas where it's a bit deeper to hide the animatronics when they're underwater and then they peek up. Oh, I fishing can't start to so hard without mods. It can be, it can be. Tiger, really? I didn't know that. Or Tiger, my apologies. Scared of some really bizarre stuff. Can't pinpoint exactly what the root of it is. It has something to do with the way a picture is drawn, something bizarre. But that scares me. Not many pictures, but every once in a while I come across a new one. Born from my childhood, it will creep you out. That's very interesting. Phobias are really fascinating because a lot of times we know, but I mean, you know, we know it's irrational, it's weird. <laughs> but it just, it freaks you out. I like The Sims. I do, I do. I'm not huge on The Sims 4. Um, love The Sims 3. And two. And I played a bit of one. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, if you ever want to send pictures over, feel free. Okay, so there's the lionfish. I don't think I've caught any of the other one yet. You're going to Disney next week. Oh my goodness. More power to you. You know, best of luck going in the middle of all this. <laughs> um, but I hope it goes well. I really wish I could go back. I've only been the one time. So terrified of any of my drawings bigger than you, yeah. Sims 2 DS though, that's the best one, we have to admit. <laughs> Thinking about getting 10 shovels in ACH because I have so much to move plant and flower. Plant and flower wise, honestly, I would do that because I've, I've, I've done it. <laughs> I just, I literally buy five shovels at a time. Scare me, I remember the ones outside the Rainforest Cafe, yes! That is where I think my very first instance of, or one of my earlier instances of this phobia um, became apparent because outside of the Rainforest Cafe they always either had a pond with a crocodile or a hippo in it. It was one or the other. Um, and it was submerged in water and it would kind of like poke out every now and then. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, absolutely not. <laughs> the gorillas at Rainforest Cafe. There's also usually a snake hanging from one of the trees. I'm like, I like snakes. I'm not, I'm fine with them. But it's intimidating. <laughs> Persona, I've been watching Full Metal Alchemist recently, Brotherhood. Um, I'm not very far in, mind you, but I have been watching it. Sims 3 lets me recreate all your mods, put them into a big house and see what happens. I would if The Sims 3 actually ran properly on my computer. I have a I have a beefy computer, it should be able to run anything, but it The Sims 3 is like a potato. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've tried everything. I was so bummed that it wasn't there anymore by Disneyland. My husband and I were gonna go turn our honeymoon. I think they still have a Rainforest Cafe, but I think it's at like, uh, it's not like in an official Disney park. It's like in one of their shopping districts, I think. Maybe? Original illustrations of the Wicked Witch melting from the first edition book of the Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Not because she's dying, but because her facial expression is bizarre. Every time I buy a copy of the book that has the original illustrations, I had to flip through it carefully to make sure it doesn't have that picture in it. And that's the only Wicked Witch melting picture that does that. No other illustrator's drawing of it does the same thing. I guess that could also be seen as like, you know, it's, it's doing a really good job. <laughs> it's meant to freak you out. But at the same time, it sucks that it gets you that badly. Downtown Disney, that's the word for it. Thank you. I all of a sudden it moved and I just bawled and I was like, nope, not happening. <laughs> Let's try fishing over here. There used to be a rainforest cafe in a, in a mall near me here, um, but it shut down quite a while ago. Which like, you know, I hadn't been in there since I was a kid or anything, but it was kind of fun to walk by and like see all the stuff that hadn't really changed since I was a kid.
I like how I was just like, oh yeah, you know, we're gonna make our farm pretty, but we need to get wood to do that. And then I'm like, okay, we're gonna go fishing now. <laughs> Gosh darn it, you're not what I need either. It was when we went in 2018, it wasn't there. Now there's a the movie theater, ooh. Oh, that's all about. Last I had heard it was there, but I've also, I don't think I've been to downtown Disney, as far as I remember. I'm gonna share another Pokemon Center review. Feel free, feel free. Okay, let's try somewhere else. Just get rid of the book to use with the different illustrations. Later, I found out they're the original illustrations. It's near impossible to look up Wizard of Oz without coming across it. It's to the point where I look up most Wizard of Oz related things. Oh no, I don't think I've heard of whatever that is, but I, I can imagine having to avoid it like that. It's okay, Andrew, no worries, dude. Let me see what this is, Rezzy. Didn't know my new best friend would come in the shape of a six inch wheezing plush, but here we are. Watch this TV like a champ, listen to all your bad jokes without groaning, would probably hold your hand if it had any 11 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> See, that sounds like me, except it would have been me with the Appleton plush if it wasn't so darn expensive. Don't I just be so amazing, you guys are making me miss Disney. Yeah, one day I really want to go back. See, Mike's not really into Disney. He's the movies, like, it doesn't really do much for him. But I think he'd probably get a kick out of, like, Galaxy's Edge and some of the Avatar stuff at Disney, so. Is the character of a mask on? Yeah, we're wearing the Blobfish mask. It's kind of weird, but I like it. One day you'll get Appleton. It sold out in less than 24 hours. Even if it didn't sell out, I wouldn't have the money for it anyway. That's the thing. I do not have the funds for that, for that gorgeous blushie. Doesn't really like to see movies when he was a little kid in the park. He loved it. Oh. You see, Mike was like, oh yeah, you know, my family we went down to Florida and like, you know, we opted not to go to Disney, we went to Universal, and I'm like, why would you do that? <laughs> like, to me, it's a no-brainer Disney over Universal, but for him and his family, it just kind of was better, I guess. Also, when they opened the Avengers campus, I think Mike will also be interested in that. <laughs> wrong, that's all. <laughs> oh, there it is. That's the fish we're looking for. Awesome. So we need four more of those. Might just be like stupid rare. One day you get Appleton, one day I'll go to Disney. We gotta believe. <laughs> At this rate, I think going to Disney and Appleton is gonna be like if I win a lottery. Because <laughs> I was uh, watching Disney Park videos, as one does this morning. And um, I don't know why I do that, because I tease myself with something I can't have right now. Um, and like I was listening to like a breakdown of like prices for some of the on site. Disney themed hotels and like oh man <laughs> oh they are pricey they're probably worth it but they're pricey I didn't realize how much of my stamina we were going through fishing there jeez Is it to be able to just noom back to our back to our farm like it's no big deal? Uh, okay, so you, uh, you guys, and this. Uh, and I 
think that was everything. I mean, why do they gotta be playing Grandpa's song right now? Jeez. It's too early for a motions game. So, we need four more of these fish, and uh, and that's it. So we're gonna we're gonna work on that. Uh, hopefully, we get them all today so that I can actually go and like do other stuff. <laughs> I feel like I've been very focused on some of these quests. So I hit everything but the coffee maker. Game's on board with my mate crystal cry plan. <laughs> it's the mood of a snowy day, though. Oh yes, for sure. Kurt, you'll know better than me. Um, was Harvest Moon 64 music different than, like, Back to Nature and Friends of Mail Town? Like, I know it has, it's in the same town and stuff like that, but also thank you so much for that follow. Because if it's different, I don't think I've ever actually heard it. And I need to go listen to it. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Completely different. Ooh, okay. I know what I'm gonna be looking up later. We got a froggy family. <laughs> Low key, wanna go back and catch some more of those. I also still may need to uh, make that area look a bit nicer, I think. I'm gonna grab some lunch. Rosie, enjoy your food. I don't know what you're having, but I hope it's good. I think two of the records. A record played in Middletown remake. Or, oh, were they of 64 tracks? I know that they had one for A uh, Wonderful Life, and I like lost it. I think it was the bar theme. And it was, it was just, I don't know. Something about hearing that song again really got to me. Is this done? No, that'll be done tomorrow. A Drampa plush one day? I'm kind of surprised we don't have, like, just straight up plushes of everything. <laughs> Blame you for talking about peanut butter. I'm here for it. I'll, uh, I'll accept that blame. Peanut butter is awesome. Sometimes I wish I played with a uh, mouse and keyboard for Stardew, but. I think I could actually do it. Uh, we have a lot of plushies for the Pokemon. We don't have plushies for Surprises Me. These are really short in 64. It's funny because it makes me go super fast in the other Harvest Moon games, forgetting that I have lots of extra time. I see, I would probably just be like, oh god, you know, how am I meant to do anything? One day I will, I'll, I'll get over the fact that, like, you know, the characters are slightly different and I will go through and play that one. Stream one of my favorite YouTube channels, Cart Narks. Upload a new video, it's my best. It's the best thing ever. This guy goes all over the US. Narks people for leaving their carts out. <laughs> I have never heard about that before, though. That sounds really funny. What an interesting idea. <laughs> you know the proper pattern to do everything in 64? It's not that bad. Uh, that, uh, Definitely feels like the case in a lot of, you know, farming games, especially older, older school Harvest Moons. So I could see that.
only plant three patches of crops at a time any more than I don't waste too much time watering. Yeah, and knowing older school games as well, there wouldn't be any, like, sprinklers or anything like that, so it's just upgrading your watering can eventually, I'm guessing. Okay, let's get this last fish. Then we go and plant trees and chop trees. <laughs> It's, it's kind of funny though, um... Ooh, is there a greenhouse? Yeah, and time freezes, yeah. So that's like, add back to nature and friends in mineral town. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, it's weird that Nintendo doesn't have plushies for all the Pokemon. Just like how they don't have plushies for all the Animal Crossing villagers. They could make so much money off that. And I, I wonder... Like, maybe they're worried that, like, you know, there's popularity, so certain ones wouldn't get purchased as much as others, so they don't want to bother? I don't know. And they have bumper stickers about selling the cars, people get so mad, just if I always put my cart back. I used to be a cart runner, yeah, so you see it all, exactly. I feel like most people who've worked in, like... Not even just customer service, like jobs like that, retail in general, you you act a bit differently after working in those. The barn. Ship them without wasting time. Shipping bin in the barn, yeah. Yeah. I'm 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 gonna try to remember all these tips, because I, I do have plans to play through that one. No one would want a Bidoof plush though. <laughs> they have Bidoof plushies, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people hate that beaver. <laughs> Keyboard are using to play. Uh, controller. <laughs> I, uh, I grew up playing Harvest Moon games. That was my farming game when I was younger on, like, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, uh, GameCube, you know, DS. So I, I was very used to controls, so, or controllers. So when I got to this game, I tried it with keyboard and mouse and I just couldn't do it. Thank you for that follow. I appreciate that. I heard the floppy and I'm like, oh god, is there a bat coming at me? I remembered where I was. <laughs> Are we missing one still? Just one. Requirements and harvest moves were so vague that it wasn't until 2011 that people looked at the game's code to figure out what exactly they are. This guide is Gary's guide. Okay. Um, the website, uh, oh god, what's it called? Is it Yushinoten? I think? Oh, I'm, I'm blanking. I know that they usually have some good Harvest Moon guides, but I didn't know if they had one for that one or not. Oh, I'll, I'll try to remember Gary's guide as well. Oh no, Brandon! That's not so good. No idea you could use a controller for PC games. You can for quite a few of them. Um, especially, I'm using an Xbox controller, so... Um, running a Microsoft computer and uh, a Microsoft brand controller. <laughs> My mind is telling me to run with the tractor over those rocks and plants. I can do that if you really want to. We could just, you know, when we catch this fish. There it is. Just, you know, for fun. You guys have not seen the power of the tractor yet. Oh, I got stuck. <laughs> can I also chop? I don't think I can chop trees. Then I can chop trees. Fogu, that's the one. Since their comments are so vague, it's got a bunch of stuff wrong. It was never updated after people figured out the real ones. Oh, okay, yeah. That's fair. Oh, stuck on like a mini tree. And you know what? For good measure. I'll hail tractor farmers rise again. Oh no. <laughs> I 
nice is it to have a full- uh, almost fully upgraded, I guess, now. Uh, axe. You get a ridiculous amount of Omni Geodes from the island, though. Big statue you can win from swimming. Decrease the chances of hurricanes. That's actually just a rumor that was proven false. I love rumors like that, though. Have you guys ever- I think I mentioned this when I started playing Animal Crossing GameCube on the channel um, a year or two back. Um, have you guys ever gone back and looked through, like, old school, like, Neo Seeker pages and stuff with, like, uh, user submitted hints and tips? Where they'd be like, oh, you can, you know, find Mew under the bus is, like, you know, the big one. Um, I always like stuff like that. It's always fun to hear what we used to come up with, like, pre-internet, pre, you know, people hacking into the game and, and figuring out what was going on in the code. Sam. <laughs> An ASMR channel. With these cutting and hacking sounds. Yeah, no, it, it does sound pretty good. So I can take these and sell them, I guess. And that goes in there. Remember that Luigi was a hidden character? Yep. There was like the Ellie's real uh, statue or fountain thing. Well, wasn't he meant to be at one point, but then he never fully. Running from the cold winterland to warm island. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go to the desert, plant some trees. I'll chop these ones down in the meantime. Luigi was going to be unlockable originally, but it wasn't. It doesn't change the fact that he isn't, yeah. Hey, Dirty Paws, welcome back. How's it going? You got a mouse infestation? I actually grew up in a house that had a mouse problem. Um, it was interesting, let's say. Let's put it that way. It was a, it was a very interesting time. <laughs> we were in a... I think the word is semi-detached? I don't actually know. Maybe? A uh, house? So it was our neighbors who were like having the issues that were bringing them in, I guess. A bit annoying. In the rumors of Waluigi. <laughs> Semi detached, yeah. Okay, so I don't actually remember how I used to plant these, so I guess we'll just figure this out. It's okay if they like don't actually plant properly, but I think one space apart is fine. Okay, and I don't think I can plant in that area there. Someone's gonna come in here and be like, you're not planting it right. <laughs> Which, to be fair, I'm probably not. Like, you know, none of those are actually gonna grow. I wonder if they actually grow right next to this cliff or not. Uh, playing Animal Crossing GameCube recently. You can, like, have uh, trees right next to a fence in that game. Which, the fence is where the, um, uh, what's the word, where the, um, 
where the train tracks are. Push up classes, you're not planning them right. <laughs> I don't think that's farther enough away. I really should have been doing this earlier, mind you. Oh, that was good enough away, I guess. Oh, I did. Okay. I guess that's there now. Move that one. Somehow, I always end up with more of the pine seeds than I do of, like, any other type of tree in this game. And I don't know if they're just, like, more common, or... Or what? But anyway, that should be a decent amount. As far as I know, no NPCs walk there. Jojo Blue music. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. Something about the music in Stardew and like the fact that with the songs I know at least I can pinpoint like exactly what cutscenes they belong to. At least most of the time. <laughs> um, it's really fun. Right, I sold wine today, didn't I? I was just like, why am I earning so much money? <laughs> Do we have enough to buy the next obelisk? We might actually be able to get that right now. We do. We do. So we can get our final one today. Money. <laughs> um, but of course we also do want the return scepter, so we'll be aiming for that next. Uh, congrats on a successful island fishing trip. I'm proud of you. Here, take the special fin tank. It'll make a great place piece in your house. Sorry. I already have loads, but I'll take it. Actually, I think this is the bigger one. But, like, I couldn't fit more into it. Let's just put this up here. This is gonna be another fish room. <laughs> massive yeah no and i like i tried to put all of i want to put all the legendary fish in one tank and the game wasn't letting me and i'm like there's plenty of room for them i don't 100 my file but i also want to start a new file but i also want to play my time at porsche decisions oh my goodness how are how's your my time at porsche playthrough going because there anything important that you're doing in that right now the game is hateful no no you know what's hateful the fact that there isn't 0.5 spaces in animal crossing and i can't line up bridges and stairs with most buildings I think Pepper posted something about that yesterday in the mod Discord, and it's it's very true and very painful to look at. <laughs> Mood is the cool kid. <laughs> am I a cool kid? I don't think I am, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Start a new game. I'm about to get a quest. This is very laggy on the Switch. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I don't know. Um, how about that Stardew save that you've been working on then? Is how close would you say you are to getting 100%? What do you have to do in that? Playing a lot of potion party? I've, uh, I've been trying to, like, I mentioned this on Twitter yesterday. I've been trying to get into Harvest. Harvest Moon, oh my god, sorry. Uh, Animal Crossing GameCube again, and I love that game to pieces, but I will always compare any town I get to my original town, and for some reason in my little my little fish brain, I don't know why it's a fish, but it is, um, no town will ever be as good as the original. 
And I wish I didn't do that, <laughs> but I do. Not too far off, I haven't played a bit, so it's hard for me to jump back in. Yeah. I, uh, I hope I'm gonna be able to jump back into the save file in the future, because I really want to. But I also know myself and know that I like starting fresh, so... Let's see how that goes. Maybe starter file to keep the old one in case I want to go back, that might be an idea. Already in gaming, hello, how's it going? Welcome on in. I hope that we can uh, we can offer those chill vibes for sure. Yeah. Okay, so we've done the quests for this week. We did the island fishing one and the cousins of the legendary fish one. So we've done a lot of fishing. <laughs> um, let's take a look at our, at our supplies here. What a new Stardew Valley save file. First time on the forest map, yeah. Such a pretty map. I wonder... Do I have tree fertilizer? I, I have a lot of tree fertilizer, so we could go use that. We could also use it here, though. Maybe we'll do that. Just imagine this blobfish creature running down the road with, like, a bag of fertilizer above its head. <laughs> it adds, like, I think a slightly darker color to the tree, it looks like, so you can kind of see which ones I've done. So if I start a new file for me, it's finding out even more ways to optimize my farm from the beginning. Yes, yes. It's a favorite thing for me as well. Being able to be like, hey, I didn't even get this far in my last save file as, as quickly as I have now. It's an addicting feeling for sure. These ones are actually done up here. Um, maybe question of the day, though, you guys. I asked this in the Discord the other day. But I'll ask again here for anyone who maybe didn't see it or isn't in the Discord, because I, I get being in a lot of Discords and not wanting to join anymore. Um, what was your uh, what was your first Animal Crossing town called? And if you remember, who were your villagers? And what game? Which, which game was it that was your first? Known a new leaf. Random, what made was was it hanging out in here that made you pick up Animal Crossing? New leaf town named Doom. <laughs> I love that. Towns. That's all good. That's all good. I'm I'm just I don't know, super nostalgic. I, I can never forget my first one. Silverwood, ACH, Canberra, Agnes, and a few other villagers I can't remember. New leaf. A lot of new leaf. A lot of new leaf starters. I'm here for that though. New leaf was a really good one to get in to the series with, I feel like. What was the question? Uh, what was your first Animal Crossing Town called? What game was it in? And uh, if you remember, who were your villagers? It was a contributing factor. A few in my friend circle at the time also helped get into it. I don't know. I think Animal Crossing is like on paper. It's a weird. It's a weird concept. It's a weird premise. But it's a really fun series. So. Whenever I hear people getting into it, it makes me happy. Hey, Andrew, how's it going today? 
remember anything, but my first game was Wild World. I don't remember my- I remember playing Wild World for the first time, but I couldn't tell you much about the save file. Other than I probably named it after my GameCube one, which is Curbtown. Petville. Uh, Town called Highland based off a TV show, Outlander. I learned to hack my 3DS and it was never the same again. Yep. You now it's a slippery slope to go down. But the first game was Wild World. I know I had nibbles. I had nibbles in my first town, too. There we go. Green Purple had some anxiety earlier before getting a haircut because social interaction, but otherwise it was good. Or you're good in general. Um, how are you feeling about your about your haircut? I just feel relieved to have it done at least. <laughs> So many cartridges as I didn't want to restart that town. Rip save files on cartridges. <laughs> First name of town was named. My town was. What the second one was Solstice. I have no idea what my other Animal Crossing town names are. I had Flippin' my first one. That's when I found my fave, and I had many more in my first one. That's a long list. <laughs> I love nipples, I was very bad at resetting on Wild World Town, which is probably why I can't remember the name. The nipples was always there. Yeah, I think Wild World was the game I reset just the most, just in general. It's like that peak setting time for me. I think the only reason why I don't reset these days is because of streaming. <laughs> I'm, I'm a lot better about it. Let's take a look. Um, so... How much wood do we need for these? 30, 20, okay, so that's not too bad. That's really not too bad. We can actually make 10 of those right now. are done anyway. Perfect timing. Oh, you... I made casks, not preserved jars. Gosh darn it, me. It's alright, it's fine. We can put these in the basement. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Why am I like this? Why don't I read first? There's nowhere in Wobble because the name asked me where I was going. My small brain was like, but I'm not going anywhere. That's the sweetest thing, though. How many days at least I left? 23 days. There's probably a better layout for down here, but... Oh, I need one more. We're not bothered. Victoria, Butch, and Alfonso. I think I've had all of those at one point or another. Definitely Victoria. And definitely Alfonso. Oh, okay. The preserved jar is not even in here. Oh, it's right there. That takes 50 wood. Oh, jeez. Okay, so next time we make aged wine, we'll have some more. Game is hateful. Uh, 
got offered a job. Oh, Rose, that's awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. Congratulations. Okay, let's see. I'm kinda tempted to just make a whole bunch of these <laughs> and have them all over the place. Um, so, yeah, so these took 50 wood each. I know it's like, you know, you don't really chop down fruit trees. Also, I'm slouching. I need to stop that. Um, but it's kind of in my way. So, no one look, alright? Just don't, don't look. Like the basement? I just want to have one on the main level of my house to act as a signal. For the rest, yeah. No, I agree. Alright, don't, don't look, don't look. I, okay, wait, before, before I, uh... Yes, keep slouching. <laughs> uh, before I do this, there's no way to move fruit trees in this game, right? Just out of curiosity. I don't think you can just move them, right? I have to chop it. It's intently at deforestation. <laughs> it's like, oh, yes, this pleases me. I'm pretty sure I can't. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for Chad to answer me. <laughs> I'm nervous. Not during Earth Month. Is that April? Oh God. Whoops. All right, let's do it. No, just look away. Look away. You can only chop them down. Okay. Okay. Oh. oh man, that's like. I don't know, that's just, that's just awful right there. Maybe I'll have some more, like, along here. I can't get over there. <laughs> it's murder. See, you guys wonder why I said random earlier instead of, instead of silver palm. <laughs> Simply press end. Oh yeah, I kind of wanted one over here because it's like strangely dark. Oh, can I not? Oh, I can walk through them. Okay. Yeah, like right there. Crystal choosing deforestation to place a straight line, just like an animal. It is, it is just like Animal Crossing. If you give me the option to to have lights or roads or fences. I will sacrifice trees for those. There we go. So this is a little bit more lit up at least. A little bit better than it was. Mermaid DIY laugh? Nice! I... I'm very behind on those, I'm pretty sure. Of course, I the trees in Animal Crossing. I mean, I did get wood from that apricot tree, so I can technically reuse it to make more streetlights. Oh, they have markers inside this gleefully chopping down these poor trees. Oh no! <laughs> oh, too soon. Um... Okay. Put some of this in. like this froggy area. I like I find my eyes keep getting drawn to it. Pascal's giving me five pearls in a row. <laughs> He's just like, no, no, you don't you don't get a you don't get any DIYs. No worries, Boston. I appreciate the lurk. You can't get me. You get out of that bin. Did that guy just come out of my barn? You guys saw that. He... 
You're not even opening and closing that door. All right. Well then. You're stronger than them at this point. I would have just lost stack to avoid from Robin. I, like, I have such a strong thing against that. <laughs> hey, Nom, you're animals. <laughs> So I kept me out from IRL Kiara. Um, I didn't hear one IRL, so it was probably from in-game. Crazy how wooden stone are hard to come by during the endgame. It's it's a weird issue. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not really having the coal issue like I was before, but I haven't really made anything with coal in a while, so. Chirate, <laughs> donate to you. There we go, she fixed some fences. I really kind of wish I could set the cat thing to give me a different kind of ore, because like iridium's great, don't get me wrong, but I kind of have 900 of it, uh, and I need gold. <laughs> and as far as I know, you can't change that. Maybe someone in here knows, but I don't think so. the lava levels <laughs> but I can't I can't fight that's the only thing I guess I don't really have much issue getting hurt now but there we go we have a lot of ancient seeds going on uh, we need to make more spring slugs for our little island project facing forward <laughs> and then they all turn when I say that as if they're like no no we're not looking at you um so if Marnie's in today which is a big if because she's never in um we'll go see if we can we can buy uh, another cow and a pig here I think Does Marnie even work? <laughs> oh, goodness me. Also, I think I could technically fill up my coop and stuff more. But, like, the question is do I want to? Because they're already eating through all my grass. chopped down by a tree. I mean, I've seen some pretty silly videos of, um... Oh, this is the pirate music. <laughs> of, uh... People being dumb when chopping down trees and, like, you know, they chopped in the wrong direction and it comes down over them. So... Is this done? Oh yeah, I thought it was. Alright, you guys ready for some, uh, Pop Pops? Alright, there we go. I tried to get all the, uh, fruit trees first. go. There was our pop pops. <laughs> so satisfying. Okay, 
Okay. Uh, I guess I'll put the others in here. to chop down the trees along here like I know I'm, I'm doing it for like decoration but like <laughs> I could just chop them and get more okay so it's Sunday we don't have any quests right now uh, we're waiting on trees to grow so maybe I should just go down to the mines and just break down the tractor and go crazy uh, let's do this one again Yes, kill. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Even if we don't get a lot of gold, you know, we might we might get some uh some stone out of it, so. Uh it was 80 plus, right? Or was it 90? It was 80. Alrighty. can continue or commence sorry admittedly this is a little bit cheap just a little bit but it's also incredibly satisfying I might need to see your game the health bar well I hope you enjoy it I really like this one um, the other one I had was kind of cool but like this one the fact that it's personalized to each enemy. Um, and it actually seems to work properly as well. Runs around twice his mouth and just grumbles, growls, and whines. Oh! <laughs> He's like, look what I got. My goodness. I don't think I can even do any damage, even though I technically could hit you with the axe. Or the pickaxe, sorry. Oh, you dropped a gold bar. I have the other one, but I like how this one's creature specific. Yeah, it's it's a bit better. Like both are nice, but tilt wiggles around like crazy. Oh my goodness. Is it easy to make your own starter mods? I've never tried. I don't really know what goes into it if I'm honest. I, uh, I was actually thinking this morning, I, I've been playing, um, uh, uh, NHG texture pack for, uh, Animal Crossing GameCube, so, like, everything looks really nice, which is fantastic, of course. Um, but the thing is, some of the, some of the characters aren't fully HD yet. So, like, for example, I have Mitzi in one of my towns, and she, uh, she's... Nice and smooth looking, but then I have Peanut and she's not. <laughs> so like, I kind of want to help out with that, but I have no idea how to how to even do that. Hey, Living Grass, how's it going? Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome on in. So this, honestly, it, it does look pretty cheap. <laughs> I don't really mind though. I'm trying to give kisses, but refuse to let go of the toy. He's like, no, no drop, only kiss. <laughs> To download some mods to try out and play more on PC, but ultimately you prefer Switch. I uh, I think it just runs really. Oh, I think that's a crab enemy. I think it runs really well on Switch, so I'm glad that you can enjoy it there. Not to mention when you get into mods, I find it hard to go back. So do you hate math? I do. I'm awful at it. Always have, probably, always will be. <laughs> I'm so used to how the other mines look now that this is a little bit weird. Old AC and all videos when I saw your stream, I just had to join the stream! Oh my goodness! Rosley, welcome to it! Thank you so much for joining us. And uh I hope you're having a good day. It's a small it's right now. Let's update mine. There's a model that lets you ride a rabbit. I feel like Pepper needs that. Oh yeah. No, if you if she hasn't already seen that, she needs to see it. 
<laughs> the tractor's incredibly handy, yeah. It's a little bit broken, a little bit OP, but the fact that you have to earn it, it's not just like given to you, it, I feel like it's worth it. <laughs> I can hear Kiara snoring. I don't know exactly where she is, but I can hear her through my headset, so <laughs> she's being pretty loud. Occasional lag spikes when playing on Switch like you had the other day when playing Pioneers of All of Town, but not to the extent that it makes them playable or anything. I um, I think I ran into the most like stutteriness almost when I was playing multiplayer on on Switch. Unfortunately, other than that though, for the most part, it's pretty pretty stable. I found same as you. Pretty dang well. <laughs> We've got 34 gold, so like you know, not the best, not the worst. I have a lot of stone, which is great because I want to make more paths. nightmare yeah Mike got really frustrated he we wanted to start once that like we could play together when we were like up at his parents and stuff because their internet is trash for starters and there's nothing else to do up there um and uh he kept like having these stutters while in the mines that ended up killing him so that wasn't so much fun got the tractor mod after I had fully leveled up mining, but I was just thinking, imagine coming through here and hitting all those rocks and stuff if you were still leveling up your mining skill. I didn't realize you would pick up mushrooms and stuff as well. I guess there's the, uh, the magnet on this thing as well. So dang fast. Yeah, maybe for science. If anyone has this mod, has a save file where uh, they can buy it but haven't fully leveled up mining. Mine's more so it's called Heaven, looks super stressful in multiplayer since enemies don't freeze when you bring up your- oh true, true true true. In general, like multiplayer Stardew is fun, it's, it's definitely a different experience, but uh I didn't get the same enjoyment out of it because like I couldn't, you know, actually enjoy cutscenes. I had to rush through them. Because it would like it wouldn't pause time. And that's on any version. Uh for an interview later if I'm here to hang out for the next bit. Rachel, I really hope the interview goes well. And uh welcome on in. How's your day going? Uh aside from that. I think another thing we should probably work on while we're waiting for our uh, our uh, trees to grow is uh, getting more prismatic shards because we need those for um, uh, enchanting our tools. Because did I do the pickaxe last time? I did. Um, I really want to get our tools enchanted. I can't remember what the ideal ones were, but meeting was an hour. Never get back. So pointless. Aw, oh, those meetings that like could have been emails or whatever are so frustrating. Mendelin, we'll see you later. Have a good time in class. Actually, I can do this now. Oh, my inventory's full. Uh, you can go. I wanted to, like, path up here, too. There's, like, no point, but I just, I wanted to, so I am. Um, no, horse, you're in my way. <laughs> and wait a minute, you're not meant to be there.
think what I might do is remove the top section of path here, just because that fence post is in the way. Oh, and there's a stone right there. <gasps> oh, disappointment. Such disappointment. Why would they do that to me? It's almost like you're not meant to pass over here. <laughs> oh. Oh well. That is obnoxious. I did not mean to put that down. You come back. There we go. Um. So I got you. And... That's actually about it. Lots of diamond money today. Give me a second to actually sell these. There we go. Everything else I'm gonna keep. <sighs> so we only have four first mag shards, which is, you know, not a small amount, but we need more if we want to make sure that we get the right things on our tools, so. We'll go to the Skull Cavern at some point. <laughs> This bat is really... Why are you doing this? Go away. There's days where I really regret choosing this map. That bat is like, prime example why. Also, are there any shirts you guys think would go with the blobfish mask for anyone who knows uh, about making clothing in this game? 30, 30k, nice. Um, because right now I'm wearing the skull one, or the skeletal one. But, uh, I don't really know what to make. I, if I had my look up anything mod still working, I could just do that, but... Turn monsters off on my farm, right? Nobody got time for that. <laughs> I, I don't think I can turn them off now that I've started, or like I've been playing already. If I could, I would though. If someone knows how, let me know. Okay, uh, Gus sent us some, uh, or an omelette, I guess. Growing some burgers for dinner tonight. That sounds really good. I hope you guys enjoy. I would be all over those. What year am I on? I'm on year three. We're just very, very tail end of it. Um, and I'm excited because I don't think I've really ever gone into year four very, at least very far, so. Strange bunch of the dark shrine of the night terror and the witcher's hover talk. Oh, Andrew, thank you. Strange bun. Okay, I think I got this. Dark shrine of night terrors. All right, we'll, we'll go see about that that uh, in just a moment here. It's like growing some burgers for tonight. <laughs> now, see, that's bug snacks. and bought the new piggy or cows <laughs> should really do that oh 
that tree should not spawn right in front of the door. <laughs> Actually, these trees in general don't have to be here. So, friendly reminder, um, if Marty's in today, uh, think up some some cute names for a pig and a cow. Usually I'll just select whichever one from chat I like most, and then that's our, uh, our new farm animal. I don't actually remember what our animals are called right now. Now that we have Billy. And sausage, that's one of the pigs. <laughs> Besides that, I don't remember. Okay, uh, strange bond. Okay, I have like 17 of those. Awesome. Um, let's go. Oh, yeah, we can also buy the obelisk today, too. What did we need for that again? That was ten of these, and then one other thing. Uh, I guess we'll go find out. <laughs> I literally was just looking at it yesterday. I saw gold made in RuneScape. Uh, I'm getting so excited. That's awesome. Even if I don't play, it's always cool to know when you're getting close to. Uh, a goal in life or in any game, really. Ah, uh, okay, so we needed... Earth crystal. That was what we need. Awful name for one of the chickens or something was Batch. Batch is still like top tier name. I just. <laughs> I think I've seen some pretty funny autofill names, but like that's the best one. And no one can convince me otherwise. She's not working today. Okay. Maybe I should get an extra chicken as well, name it Betch in, uh, in that honor. <laughs> okay, uh, earth crystals, I needed ten. Let's go get that obelisk. And then I can use it to warp the mountains, and that's, you know, close enough to the wizard, or the witch's area. Those trees are done growing. That was super fast. Oh, these ones down here are done too. Okay, awesome. So we can also chop. My phone. Uh, we can chop trees after. Okay, final obelisk, which is exciting because I had never purchased one before this playthrough. Um, and that's that's it. We're all we're all good. I think I am probably gonna move them in here though. Oh wait. I wonder if I'll have room to walk if I do. That might be questionable. There we go. All four.
the ultimate lazy person's dream. <laughs> Thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate that. Welcome on in. You guys are just joining us today uh, for the first time. Have I been up there yet? I don't think I have. Uh, my name is Crystal. Obviously, we're playing some Stardew today, but we've also been playing Story of Seasons on the weekends and, you know, Cootie recently. Uh, so, hello. How's it going? <laughs> Okay, so you said the something of the something something. Uh, is it this one? Dark Shrine of Memory, so she stares through you. Uh, ancient Magi Seal of Protection will be restored, preventing monsters from appearing on your farm at night. Make an offering of one strange bun. Uh, is that endgame stuff? I thought I was in endgame. Oh, I'm intrigued. Uh, yes. Yeah, I know monsters, hopefully. It would probably be a bad idea to stick your tender arm in there. Oh god. Whoever lives here must really like a clean floor. <laughs> Curse the countryside, a spell look for the rural witch. <laughs> I'm doing really good today, I'm doing really good. We're having a nice cozy stream. Um, playing some Stardew today. Hey, Matilda, how's it going? Andy, enjoy your food. Severely anemic, ooh. That doesn't sound so fun. Hopefully you can get that sorted, I don't know, through doctor's assistance, medication, whatever it need be. friend let's go let's go chop down some more trees here it comes to something when I'm almost purely just chopping trees because I want more <laughs> more lamp posts hi Jess I was trying to chop a tree not talk to you okay there we go aren't done yet, but some of them definitely are already. How do I move the chicken coop and barn as source seasons? You can just walk up to it with nothing in your hands and uh, press B, I think it says to clear up or clean up. Uh, and uh, then you can just put it wherever you want. It's really weird because it puts it in your inventory, but that's how you move it. Can you guys tell me what's meant to be in this space? If anything? Or is that related to that back area, maybe? What happens to chickens and cows that are in it? Um, they'll all kind of just appear outside of where the barn was, uh, with like a little question mark above their head, so you can just bring them back in when you place it into the right area. They don't disappear or anything like that. That being said, I've never left it overnight, so... Just like if you're moving it during the daytime, then you should be fine, I think. I think you have the spring onion one yet. Jason Vincent Cassie. Oh! We some stuff a little more. I don't think I've heard of that. That's cool. Thank you for letting me know. Spring onion mastery, Jason Vincent 8 heart event. How do I go about triggering that? Because I have both of them fully... fully befriended. <laughs> Is there a certain time and date that I should be triggering that? I'm sorry to bug. Just if anyone happens to know. I could also just look up the wiki. I should really have the wiki open 
Is it during spring? Okay. Maybe that's why, because I, I only fully befriended them in the last year or so. Um. Yeah, I, uh, I should have the wiki open, just like... I totally just destroyed that squirrel's home. <laughs> Off to the side. Some days I really wish I had like a third, a third monitor. That, uh, that tree fertilizer though, that actually helped quite a bit. Hi, what are you doing? Oh, is that so? <laughs> She keeps doing this thing that's been freaking me out recently. She'll like look at me, and you guys have seen her do it. She'll like look at me, and then I'll see her gaze slowly go to over my shoulder, and I'm like, don't do that. <laughs> you don't need to be doing that when it's dark in here and I'm all by myself. the song that's playing right now what's she doing she'll like she'll stare at me which is common she does that a lot but then her gaze will like slowly turn to the side um like and she'll just kind of like look over my shoulder and i'm like why <laughs> there's nothing back there please don't Nudge the microphone away again. Is that what you're doing? Okay, um, so I should be able to make some more lights now. Another thing we're gonna need here we're running out of battery packs, so we need it to storm in uh, in the spring, I guess. The green tea cutscene. I haven't caught that cutscene yet either, and I'm befriended with her. I just I feel like I'm just not triggering cutscenes like I should be. So I'll make some more of these. There we go. Do we need some light? Hi. Certain room area in Pierre's. It's in the kitchen area. Don't put your paw on that. <laughs> Thank you. I'll go do that. Maybe we'll see if we can trigger cut some some, uh, some cutscenes here. a lot of my farm lit up. It's just the entrance here that isn't really done. So. Indeed, I know. Don't, don't get your claw out of that. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, there we go. Let's go in there. The little Mew. <laughs> She's being super cute. Uh, 
No, no pause on the microphone. Alrighty then. Uh, we've been live for... I mean, technically two and a half hours, but I wasn't actually live-ish. I was running a bit late. We're gonna go on our normally scheduled stream break. <laughs> um, if you guys want to get up and stretch and grab yourselves a drink or a snack, feel free. Um, if you're heading out, thank you so much for being here, but um, I'm gonna go on my stretch break. I'm gonna grab myself probably something to snack on. Um, I'm gonna make sure Kiara gets her cuddles. And I'll also play some uh, some ads. If you guys want to get up and stretch, you won't even see them. And then when you come back, I will be playing some stream moment videos. Hopefully they're actually going to be randomized. I've been a bit concerned that they're not randomizing themselves. So um, give me about 10 minutes here and I will be right back. 